We're both in our black hoodies. We got comfortable. We've got our wine, and we're here to talk about. You're acting like we're already drunk. We haven't even started. Hi guys, I'm Minnie. I'm Tanisa. Welcome back to our channel. So today we have Tanisa Mini Talk, episode eight, I think. Are you sure about that? Yes. This is our, one of our favourite videos to film and we're actually so excited for this video because it's been a long time yeah. since we filmed. Even before we got the questions, we wanted to do a Tim so many talk on like red flags and things Toxic that you should be, relationships. Yeah, things you should be aware of. Yeah. In like, not just relationship, but like any relationship, relationship friendships. Friendships, yeah. Friendships, yeah. Um, so before we start the video, we just want to say that um, if you do have anything that you want to get off your chest, it doesn't even have to be a question, just something that's like irking you and you just feel like it needs to be or like you're going someone. through something and yeah. you feel like you can't talk to anyone about it you can use our tumblr and send in send it in anonymously or you can directly come talk to us on our instagram which is tanisa and mini yeah but i can understand that a lot of people it's really hard to share it yeah um so you can go on completely anonymous mm -hmm. and so do um use take advantage of our tumblr ask yep. button so the question is hi guys i have just started talking to a boy who slid into my dms on instagram and he is really nice so far and has a really good sense of humor good that i like but i'm scared that he is a fuck boy because all his following are mostly girls and i can't help but think he is just a player i don't want to judge him but i'm scared i will get played haha -ha. okay okay so i guess we just what do you think about um, his following being all girls? So firstly, when Minnie was like, oh, we got this question, I was like, mm-mm. I've always said that who your company is, who your friends are, and who follows you and who you follow on your social media really reflects who you are. So the fact that all his followers are girls, that's definitely... Do you think that's a red flag? <sighs> it's a red flag, but then I don't want to say it's a red flag. I would say it's definitely bright it's, amber. I think it's something that you should be a bit wary about. If your intuition is telling you that he's potentially going to play you, then I feel like you, you need, need to, to be listen. wary and listen to your intuition. But I don't think that all the time it's something that you should be judging because he might be someone who is just more um, comfortable yeah because the same way some girls are more comfortable with boys because they like to avoid drama with girls yeah yeah so he might have just more girlfriends because he just that's just who he is around but um i, do I think, think that depends that's weird though i think it depends on how far you've built the relationship to have the trust though and obviously they're just in the talking stage i think so did you say the following he's following a lot of girls or the following yeah his following is girls. okay see that's dodgy because i was gonna say maybe he's an attractive guy so like obviously Girls, girls are gonna follow, gonna follow attractive boys, mm -hmm. right? But if he is following girls, now that's weird, that's weird. But lately, when I was thinking about this question, I was pondering over it, I kind of came to the realization that as like someone growing up in this time, people really romanticize the idea of finding the one, and then they just like picture and this like person, but that, pe that person doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Like, people really romanticize that idea. So I really do think that you should really give him a chance. Yeah, and I think sometimes people forget that it's actually really, really rare for you to find someone who likes you back at the same time, and like to find someone and also have that connection, have that connection and yeah, they love you, so and they, the love is mutual is actually really rare in this society that we live in, especially in the time now because. I, I think people just yeah like you said like people romanticize the idea of relationships crushes and everything so because a lot of times I'm thinking I wonder how many people we have said no to over, yeah. just because they don't match like the initial thing that we're looking for yeah like when I feel like yeah, idea, yeah the one for us that would really appreciate us for who we are has just might, gone by yeah might never ever ever tick any of those boxes so I just feel like with this person you should definitely be a bit wary like but still give him the benefit, the benefit of the, of the doubt. doubt yeah for because sure. if you're connecting with someone that is so rare as Minnie said you don't want to let that go just because your initial like judgment of this person like clouded your yeah yeah head you know yeah Anything else to add to that? No, I think let's let's because obviously she wanted. Yes, yeah, yeah. So basically, and and he has a good sense of humor that you like. So 
I oh, and that like, old girl that is so that is rare, rare, rare as well. Bro, like, yeah. People just don't have sense of humor nowadays. Yeah, you're lucky. Yeah, so I think give him the benefit of the doubt, but definitely be smart about it. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't want you to get hurt. Yeah, so like, kind of like, I'm not saying like hold yourself back, but like just be aware that maybe there is a possibility but there's a possibility with anyone that you could get played do you know what i mean yeah like some, the of, the, some of the f boys are like the ones that seem like nice guys like the ones because they're guys. Like psychopaths yeah. yeah so um so just give him a chance maybe he just appears like a f boy but he's must be, he could be like the kindest most loving boy ever yeah so you never know but yeah good luck with that um i hope it all works out in the end and i hope he doesn't play you if he does come to us yeah yeah all right next question it's a long one do you want to read no you can oh you're quite good i, can I read. always read i can read up. i can read i'll read <laughs> I was talking to this boy and we were friends for a while and I thought our friendship was becoming something else but it never really went really did. <laughs> I thought he would ask me out. Wait, you were so rude. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's the way she wrote it. Sorry. Sorry. I thought he would ask me out because he we always used to go on friend flirty dates. Then we just stopped talking like we used to and the worst part is he still likes all my posts and is very friendly with me still and acts like nothing happened i like him but i'm scared it won't go any further i don't know how to move on i think the thing is here like is like maybe like she got the idea that they were more than friends and um, there's even, no even, i know i'm reading that i'm like oh, what the fuck if i saw them on a friendship friendly date you would, you would like to call it i'd be like oh cute couple cute, cute i'm couple, sure yeah. i would say that and i'm sure she hasn't just built this thing in her head <laughs> unless she's like a crazy stalker but i'm sure you're not um in her head think for no reason like he must have given her something we have to think we have to consider like what kind of made him just do a 360 yeah, like but that boys that a lot boys do that a lot but then what gives you the right to play with your friend's feelings yeah if you're gonna call her your friend then why would you do that and if your intentions was never right in the first place you went there with her and now you're acting like nothing's happened mm -hmm. like liking her pictures that's just not on i feel like that is so... that a lot as well no but that's toxic and that's rude like yeah i that think for be you on. you just need to step away from it man because this guy is obviously affecting your 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 mental vibes and then like if someone is just not reciprocating all the energy that you're giving them it's never worth it to keep going on when they don't consider you as someone worthy of their time yeah so because he hasn't respected her in any way i don't feel like now we owe anything to this boy no. so do you think this friendship is done yeah i think the longer you hold on to this friendship in hopes of, and because you've already like kind of caught feelings and you you want it to be more i think it can never be more because he obviously won't let it be but you can't force that if he doesn't want to and i think you need to realize that as well and sometimes things don't plan out you know yeah and sometimes getting over a half relationship is like oh, so much so, harder it's like totally worse than a real relationship yeah because you, there's nothing to get closure over there's nothing to mourn about and especially because he's acted like nothing's happened how are you now meant to act like the one that's like holding on and like so bitter about it you can't even bring that up to yeah this exactly because then you then he's probably just gonna gaslight you and be like oh my god you're so like why did you overthink that yeah. like you're just and then like he's gonna make you seem like you were an idiot for like getting the wrong vibes yeah. when f your feelings are completely validated because you can catch feelings and that's just up to you you know like he doesn't have any right to say like oh don't catch feelings over me when you guys are just doing all this flighty stuff yeah so i think that do you not think that we should she should ask her him yeah ask him why or do you think she should just like i don't know if sometimes you just need to just step away like you don't always need answers because it, but it depends on the person because i'm someone who needs closure but you i feel like you're different to me in that sense, yeah right? I, I don't think you always need closure because especially in moments like this sometimes you just step away and get your own peace from yourself because when imagine you didn't you asked him and you didn't get the answer you wanted then that just drives you even more nuts yeah 
See, I'm the opposite. So I think it depends on whether you are more of a mini or a tuning star. Whereas I, would, I, I don't really think I care for answers as long as I understand like that person was just not giving me the time and energy that I was, then it's not what you deserve. Do you know what I mean? And there could, like, like we said earlier, there could have been someone else. Yeah. And you just pass them because you're waiting around for some idiot who just won't, who doesn't care enough for you. Yeah, but if you're like me, then you're gonna like feel like you need closure, at least like know why he did what he did. So then if you're more like me, then I would just, because this friendship is already over in my head, I would just do the last like hurdle and just be like, hey, what was all that? Like, you were just but so hot and cold. But do you think that's cold. so hard to do with like someone you like? I, I would find that really difficult for to do, to have a conversation like that with someone I had a crush on. I feel like with a crush, it's like you risk it or you don't because some things just get left like unspoken all the time. But now it's like there's nothing to salvage, really, is there? Yeah. Unless he came out and was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I really want this with you." There's nothing she can do, so she might as well get answers for herself so she finds peace. Because not everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my god, like I'm still good enough." But like, then I think this, like you, like you said, imagine he was like. Oh yeah, like I do really like you and stuff, still want you in my life, but I just don't want a relationship. That's not finding peace personally for me. I'm sorry, but that's just really, that would just disrupt my whole vibe because I'd be like, why the fuck would you say that? So for you, it'd be like, he'd have to come and be like, okay, let's do this. Yeah, it's either yes or no. It's like a yes or no yeah, question. Yeah. I'm the same. If you're not, if you want to say no, then you can't be leading someone on. Yeah. I think that's just really wrong and selfish. But because you really, can't pick when yeah. you want to be her her man, act like her man, and then not really be her man. Because I feel like that's what he's doing. Yeah, of course. That's why I think it really this this really the situation really depends on what kind of person you are. You can either go the mini way or like my way. Mm. But at the end, you need to your final destination is for you to find peace. Yeah, and you always have to remember like you are way more than this person you don't do not need this person's validation for you to feel whole and complete in a relationship it's two people that bring 100 percent. it's not people two people who bring 50 50 to make 100 you know yeah it's always two people bringing that 100 percent. if that other person is not then you need to leave as 100 percent as well because you are your own person and only you can make yourself feel that whole yeah because you was already a good person before you even met this met guy, this guy. Yeah, so, so don't worry and like there will be plenty of times where this will happen like i feel like a lot of times people come and go in it so yeah. it's not like there's just going to be this one shit person and like your love your life is going to come along like there's going to be so many people that probably hurt you along the way you but you prepare. just need to prepare yourself yeah, you prepare and yourself. you're like you need to strengthen your own like self-worth before yeah. you try and find that in other people mm -hmm. yeah very well said I uh, hopefully that answers and helps you. We've basically been talking about red flags and stuff because we obviously we're sisters. We talk about stuff like that all the time. And our friends were going through some stuff yeah. as well. So then we kind of like got kind of got us thinking like there's so many red flags that if we had realized sooner or seen sooner, then it would save all this. Or like, some things that like you like you know that's happening in your relationship, but you avoid because you don't want the relationship to end. Other people can see it, but you're so blind. Yeah. You know it's happening, but you're just like turning a blind eye. In toxic relationships, I feel like sometimes it's really easy to make excuses for other people when you know that if it was your friend going through that, you would tell them yes, of, like your, yes. your help and stuff, your yeah. advice, but it's so easy not to take your own advice when it's mm. yourself. Sometimes you have to take a step back and be like, yes. what would my sister do what would i do if this was my sister mm -hmm. instead what would i do if this was my, my best, friend, best friend instead yeah. what about someone who doesn't recognize your boundaries yeah oh, god i feel like in a relationship it should always be communicated what you are comfortable with and what you're not say you're in a talking stage and you can pick out those tendencies yeah and i think that's when you can start to realize oh shit like that's that's a red flag like if someone is trying to push you to do things that you don't want to do and you've already voiced that then there's something that you need to react to and just step away and this isn't this doesn't just happen in relationship like friendships too if your friends are pushing you to do something that's completely out of your comfort zone and 
you do it just because you want to like spend time with your friend but you get there and you're like oh my god like, i'm so uncomfortable this, yeah. like yeah then you need to evaluate your friendship mm -hmm. when someone is too eager <laughs> eager beaver or when they're too slow as well so this is like two extremes sometimes you get people that are too like eager like too like do you think that's a red flag though yes i don't know because like some people are just eager because they're just like that type where you know on insta they'll just always be like dming you like I constantly think... and it's just like bro i've literally given you the signs i don't want to talk to you what if someone was like is that toxic or is that just like annoying what if someone you had a conversation with like first time and then he was like let's go for dinner oh shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not the one <laughs> someone too eager is weird like they're just in a rush to do things like i like the talking stage to be like long and really get to know you get before know, i commit yeah. in a relationship but if he was just like rushing to like be your boyfriend or rushing to do like progress your relationship to the next level that's weird mm -hmm. when he's not respecting your boundary going back to the second point mm -hmm. and also another thing is sorry what was i saying <laughs> And then we have the opposite where they're like too slow. So like, let's say you're just talking to someone. It's the honeymoon period. You guys are so excited to talk to oh each other. Oh my god! But he's taking forever, and he's been calcul like calculating like when he should oh, send the next message. Oh, that's sad though because some people probably think like, oh, I need the perfect message to send. Okay, yeah, that's sweet, but it's the digital era like everyone is glued, glued to, to their phones, phones whether you like to admit it or not everyone is glued to their phones so for someone to be like oh sorry like i was busy forgot to reply yeah i think that's when this lame as frick because like when you're making it's unrealistic when you're making excuses like oh sorry like i was busy the whole day like for me like i'm a really bad reply right all my friends know that Same. and my i'm always like oh my god i'm so sorry i forgot i forgot to reply i read your message but i forgot to reply i chose not to reply <laughs> because sometimes i get in those like statement where i'm like i don't need anyone i don't want to socialize don't want to talk to anyone. yeah because yeah. i'm i'm like i'm so sorry but i'm just a really bad friend so m people that are close to me know that's what i'm like but if you're talking to someone like honeymoon stage the talking stage that's when he, he that's should when be he the should most, be eager that should that's when he should be the most like yeah into you and like i think girls listen up listen up this is good right if he's not into you in that stage then how much into you is he gonna be further down when you're actually cuffed up yeah and when things get hard it's gonna be so easy for him to like leave because he's not even interested right no, now no actually think about it because yeah. that is when you he should be the most all over you but he's yeah. not fair start. enough he's a busy guy okay he works everyone works right full-time even full-time no i just think like even when you're on your fucking break or something you, it's so easy to just be like hey babe like you hope your day's all right mm. i just don't think it's no, it's a good enough excuse for you to be like i'm busy yeah like you don't have to text me like every single minute of the day but just a little update here and yeah. there would be fine i find i find that a yeah big, and then big what plan. you're gonna text me 12 hours late and be like oh sorry i had a long day like and that, then you're gonna make me feel bad for messaging you all the time yeah let's let's relate that, that to another point like they only contact you when, when it's, it's convenient. convenient he's just not respecting you yeah he's just not because he unless thinks that, unless that, that he is, can just text you at that time and you'll just be all over him again unless that is what you want fair enough fair enough that's fine. go for it we're not judging but if but, you're wanting something more this open your eyes yeah it's not happening no matter how cute he is no matter how funny he no is no matter how good his style is yeah. no matter how good his instagram feed is yeah it's fuck not, it mate it's not good enough <laughs> what do you think about when he tries to like push you away from your friends and your family yeah. and just like that's to a spend massive red flag all his time with do you do you know why that's a massive red flag guys because further down the line he's gonna be so controlling yeah that he's gonna want to control every single detail of your life because this is what i how i see it i was friends with my friends and i had my family way before i even met you so what makes you think that just because you come along i'm gonna forget drop like, everyone yeah drop my job my family my friends for you and just Sorry? spend like 24 7 hours with you <laughs> like i just uh, ridiculous ridiculous that's and then you can't point. even give me a text yeah or, <laughs> sorry oh my god oh my god relating that to another point like when he has double standards oh yeah so if he can like do things hang out with his boys but, but then, you are not allowed to go out yeah, with your mates yeah no sis and then I'm he's asking you. like what's happening where you're going yeah who's coming so now you want to text me yeah, yeah? okay 
This is why all the Wattpad books are real because <laughs> everyone loves the bad boy. <laughs> Everyone does have a bad boy, don't they? Because like, guys, we're watching like Yejawani Hidewani, yeah? We love to, I've watched that movie so many times and I never realised how toxic Bonnie is. Me and Minnie were just like, like screaming we were the whole movie. He was toxic AF. Like, he went away, lived his life and just came back, expected Nina. Yes. Expected Nina to, had just, to just like come running yeah. to her after he's like lived his life. When she was she was actually talking to someone. Yeah. A decent guy uh -huh. as well. They were already flirting. Uh-huh. Having a beer. He's coming and he's like, he's who like, are you? And he was like, I thought I was the only one you had a beer with. And he's like, I'm <laughs> her boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god. Toxic, toxic, toxic. But we just love it because we just love a rombu couple. Yeah, yeah we? we love a rombu couple when we should be going out with a govinda. Do you know what I think I've noticed with boys as well a lot? Is when you're talking to them, some of them like tend to brush things off. Like let's say I'm making like a just a point about you know because we're like quite we have feministic like opinions mm -hmm. and views. Of course. When that gets brushed off, I'm just like clearly you don't nothing that. more yeah, nothing mm -hmm. annoys me more than that because Yeah, I think sometimes you can tell when a boy doesn't really respect a woman who has feminist views because he has been Conditioned to think that women shouldn't have opinions like that yeah. and like men are superior to women And I notice that a lot in Nepali boys and So do I lie. If any man or any like friend is making a Please. joke about something that you really hold true like mm -hmm. against your that goes against your beliefs your, your morals, morals your values, values yeah. then no matter how like perfect this person is or please, like, no please man, call yeah. them out as well yeah call them out to educate them mm -hmm. and if you're just so tired of doing it all the time because some people just, just don't, you don't like, have to yeah. leave just leave just because them out. it's not your job to educate people so if you're constantly having to tell them that oh, that's wrong like you shouldn't be making that joke then you gotta leave because obviously they don't want to change and they don't want to learn yeah and then after you're trying to educate them and they're like hum, hum, hum. they're like acting up rushing it up that's so much energy that you have to invest into educating this person and or your re let's say your relationship progresses and then you've got a daughter you've got a son and he's just favoring your yeah. son because he's and just he's sexist. passing that down to your son yeah that's not it's, the one. it's just no that's yeah. a big big red flag you, you just need to be aware like if you wouldn't want say a random boy saying that then why would you want the person you're speaking to to do that then yeah. it's just not on like you shouldn't be selective selective about who is woke or not yeah what about the one you said where they're competing with you yeah i've never experienced this well i don't think i've personally or like let's say directly. you have an achievement and they're just like trying to one-up like oh. you you know the one-upping vibe is just weird it's red flaggy to i me. think one-upping in any friendship or relationship is toxic any connections that you have in your life like that you hold close to your heart should want to celebrate everything mm -hmm. about you and not have to make it about them yeah exactly yeah i think when someone starts making everything about them then that's like that's really, toxic because obviously some people have like competitive streaks we do as well yeah like let's say we're playing like a friendly game of scrabble mm -hmm. i'm not playing to lose exactly no one, fun, plays, like, no one yeah. plays to lose in life that's the thing but the thing is like but you can't like when, be aggressive about when they downplay someone's channel like, oh yeah. you did that many but like but i did da 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 yeah but like i did that already yeah like, I, I already did that like two years yeah. ago that's that's, that's a red flag yeah and honestly we're not like coming for anyone because i know we mentioned like nepali boys that's only because we're nepali girls obviously mm -hmm. so and our type is nepali boys i guess right <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that it helps somebody yeah i think like sometimes we really 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 don't want to accept the red flag from the person we like or our friend but you have to think at the end of the day, if it's better for you, you have to cut people off even if you don't want to. And sometimes being the nice person is not good enough for you. Like, you have to sometimes just be brutal and cut people off in your life. And it's okay to do that. Yeah, because at what cost yeah. are you keeping this toxic exactly. person in mm -hmm. your life for? Please subscribe. Yeah, it's actually like... Bro, if you've watched this to this point and you haven't subscribed, I'm judging you. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you for watching and thank you for sending in your questions. Please remember you can send in your question anytime at our thumbnail. It's linked down below. And please follow our socials. Tanisa Rana, Mini Rana B, Tanisa Mini. And we will see you in our next one. Bye.